An 18-year-old construction worker of Las Flores, Belmopan, is lucky to be alive tonight after he was viciously chopped to the face during an armed robbery on Monday evening. Jose Lopez was in the Rivera area and was on his way home when a machete-wielding man jacked his bicycle, but not before inflicting multiple chop wounds to his face and body. He was making his way from the Rivera area towards the, the highway, and um, he was approached by a, a male person who was armed with a machete. That individual demanded his bicycle, and um, in doing so, he inflicted um, multiple chop wounds to the left side of Mr. Lopez's head. Um, he was transported to the Western Regional Hospital and um, further transported to the KHMH. Lopez says that he was working in the Rivera area when the incident occurred. He remembers waking up at the Carl Hushner Memorial Hospital, having been in a critical condition, and recounts the ordeal, saying that there were several men who approached, but only one chopped him. The only thing I remember that I was coming from work and when I feel, he sliced me, but I didn't feel this one in his face. I didn't feel this one, but I feel him the one in the arm. And after that, the only one things I remember, that when I wake up, I wake up in the hospital. No. And now I'm feeling a little bit better. Now, um, where were the guys? that did this to you, that the guys that chopped you, where were they? At Rivera. Okay. I was going to work and well, I was coming from work and when I see he does take a machete out, slice. No. Were they walking and in what direction? They were walking in the right. Do you know where they were going? I think they was going to Rivera. What happened when you got chopped? What what happened? What did you do? I ran from the mechanic to quality chicken, but I didn't remember nothing. So you could barely remember anything. Um, what what are the doctors saying? What did the doctors say to you? Because they're obviously home now, and so you've been released from the hospital. They tell me I have to take um, my medicine for pain and eye drops. And Lopez says that he is fearful that the men might come and attack him once again. His brother Enrique Lopez says he could not believe what happened to Jose. I even, I know think about it. What's what will suddenly happen? I know me know that this will happen to my brother because first time of life I see him like that. Yes. What did you see when you saw him? Well, I just just saw him with some bands in, on, on he lay down on the bed, because first first of all they told me he was an emergency. Then they passed him to the general ward and they told me, well, well I say, I say good night and this and good morning, good afternoon. I say, this and this I want to see my brother. Oh, I know where's your brother. They told me the nurses, they told me he's at general ward. So I run to general ward and see him. They won't let me in, but I told them he's alone because I want to see him. There have been several robberies in that area, and Inspector Wilfred Oferfino of the Crimes Investigation Branch says that the department in Belmopan has been putting in place patrols to deter these types of crimes. Any sort of suspects uh, in, in relation to this, this recent attack, sir? Uh, none, none as yet. Sir, over the past year, there have been multiple uh, instances of Yes, I um, exactly. Given that fact that there had been um, several robbers in that area, the Belmopan police do have patrols in that area. In Moody for News 5.